to know. Where in the world is San Diego. And one of these dumb shoes could find her. She was born in Guyana and likes all kinds of music. Meet Alina Hussein. He's lived in the Philippines and can speak Tagalog. Meet Miguel Davis. She's traveled to South Carolina and plays the saxophone. Meet Krista Scaturo. They're with me every day. Rock a bell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Quick reminder for you guys the one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. So, Chief, who are we after? This is Top Grunge. Top Grunge! Nasty coughs and flimmy wheezes. Boogers fly when this guy sneezes. His last known whereabouts Wadi Dar, Yemen. What does a royal ruler get when he wants a room with a view? Take a look at this cozy little getaway called the Rock Palace. Perched high atop an amazingly steep rock, the home was built for 18th century Yemeni leader Al-Mansur Ali. More recently, it was a summer palace for the Imam. But its days as a royal residence ended in 1962. The Rock Palace has since become a tourist attraction, and skilled Yemeni craftsmen are now restoring the palace to its former glory. Or they were, until today. Grunge. When Top Grunge yandered into Yemen, wanting a new mobile home for his dear old mom, he decided the Rock Palace was just her style. So he roto-chopped its foundation, and hauled it home to mommy. Boy, seeing them together makes a lot of things clear. Gumshoes, break up this touching reunion and crack today's case. Maternal instincts. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Chief. All right, guys, trying to find Top Grunge and the Rock Palace. To help you do that, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. There they are. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we're going to give you 10 more crime bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round, okay? So let's get started then with our very first clue, which uh, comes to us from Acme's Something Smells Funky Net. Here is the sneaker. Hey, what is the deal with Naperville? It's in a state whose western border is the Mississippi River. Naperville's got a place that tests sneakers. I'm not kidding. They got about 2,000 people running around and walking around and sitting around in new models of footwear by all different companies. They only get to borrow the shoes for like six weeks and got to report back on things like fit and durability. I'm asking myself, do these people's feet have superpowers of detection that mine do not? Okay, Gumshoes, name the state where Top Grunge has taken the Rock Palace. Is it Illinois, Arkansas, or Indiana? Remember the clues that we heard? Western border is the Mississippi River and footwear test center in Naperville. Everybody's ready. Krista, what do you say? I said Arkansas. Arkansas. Miguel? I said Arkansas. Arkansas. Alina? I said Arkansas. Arkansas. The answer we're looking for is Illinois. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, guys. Very sympathetic audience there for you. But we have more coming up because our next clue is Red. a little something... This clue just came in. Top grunge must be in the place where these gerbils originated. Aha! A pet store. No, 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 not a pet store. All pet gerbils are descendants of a few captured in a country between China and Russia. See, back in the 1950s, a Japanese lab sent some gerbils to the U.S. for research. The group bred and later became popular as house pets. People love them because they're gentle and playful and easy to keep. Yeah, but you know, you forget the best part about gerbils, Chief. What's that? Well, you can dress them up in little outfits, teach them circus tricks, and then charge neighbors admission to see them. <laughs> yeah, hey, right. I've never actually done that, but I heard you could. Okay, Gumshoes, name the country, if you will, please, where Top Grunt has taken the Rock Palace. Is it Kyrgyzstan, Mongolia, or Nepal? Remember the clues that we heard? 
<laughs> Country between China and Russia, house pet gerbils native to here. Krista is ready. We'll start with you. What do you say? I say Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. What do you think, Miguel? I said Mongolia. Mongolia. Alina. I said Mongolia. Mongolia. The answer we're looking for is Mongolia. Nice job, Miguel and Alina. All right, guys, now it's time for one of my most favorite parts of the show, the lightning round. <laughs> Woo! That was a close one. That was a close one. Okay, Gumshoes. <laughs> uh, remember, all these are worth five Emmy crime bucks, and they're all about Top Grunge's most recent known whereabouts, which is Mongolia. So hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. I think that worked perfectly, by the way. Uh, this ancient Mongolian leader and his fearsome army conquered one of the largest land empires in history. Miguel. Kublai Khan. Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Well, judges, is that all right, Kublai Khan? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, 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 largest land empires in history. Who was he? Was he Abu Dhabi, Lhasa Apso, or Genghis Khan? Uh, Alina. Genghis Khan? Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Takes a 65. Here's the next question. When you turn three years old in Mongolia, your family celebrates with a special tradition. What does the oldest family member give you? Is it your first haircut, your first bath, or your first Barney video? Alina. Your first bath? Sorry, it's not your first bath. Miguel. Your first haircut? Is right. Nice job. Fire for you. <laughs> Last question. This nation ruled Mongolia for over 200 years, and a region called Inner Mongolia is still part of its territory. Am I talking about the United Kingdom, China, or uh, Miguel? China. China is right. Nice job. Fire for you. <laughs> way to go, guys. This is the way the case is supposed to go. I got a quick meeting with the chief, though, and I will meet you guys in the alley. So just a couple of minutes. You guys can come along. Well, I thought I smelled something, Chief. A little late in the day for breakfast, isn't oh, it? Oh, you know what they say. It's a <laughs> Buster, what do you think you're doing? Well, just trying a little experiment, Chief. And based on my results, I would say that your breakfast is very vulnerable to theft. Oh, no. It wasn't until today. Well, Chief, that's because breakfast theft is on the rise. That's why you need this. <laughs> the Breakfast Club. The what? The Breakfast Club. Chief Lemke says it's the best way to keep thieving hands away from your morning meal. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. It can't possibly work. Oh, really? Shall I demonstrate for you then? Just put this right on here like this. Okay. Right. By the way, here are today's contest winners. Congratulations to all the winners. Okay, Chief, now I will just attempt to steal another piece of your bacon. Uh-huh. Oh, what happened here? Must be the breakfast club. Can't get in there. Whoa! If you want to be a winner, here's what you do. Write down what got stolen and from where every time you watch the show. When you've got four loots and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send them to Acme Crime Net P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day, we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and Greg and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Oh, well, I give up, Chief. Just can't seem to get in there. I don't know why that could be. It could be because oh. the Breakfast Club. You know that that's why three out of four chiefs agree that the Breakfast Club keeps their breakfast safe. Uh -huh. Want to take a look? Yeah. Let me show you. A little twist of the key mm -hmm. and. Huh? Ow! Safe and sound! Oh, Greg, look What's what some... you've done to my breakfast. Chief, is it not really messed up enough for you? I'm sorry. I like my mess Greg, too. Stop! stop. You, Chief, if you just put a little bit of ketchup stop. on there. No! On the side. Stop. Ah. Okay, guys, training exercise time. Come right this way. Everybody pick a trash can. What I need you to do is you're going to help me find some clues that are going to help us find our crook, and what better place to find clues than right here inside the trash can. What you're going to do is this. You're going to lift up the trash can lid like this. Warning. This trash can is loaded. It may be deactivated only with a magic word, swordfish. Okay. Swordfish. I have no 
idea what that means. Anyway, you'll reach down in here. You'll find a card that will have the flag of the country that we're looking for on one side. It'll have the clue on the other side. To finish your assignment, then <laughs> you'll take the lid and put it on top of the trash can like this, and that will finish up the assignment, okay? So let's see how fast you guys can do this thing. On your mark, get set, go! Find the clue, guys, find the clue. Cheer on, guys. Want to find the clue, put the lid back on. Want to find the clue, put the lid back on, guys. One, two, and three. That was very fast. It goes Alina, then Krista, then Miguel. So, Alina, what does your card say? Government. It says government. I can tell you that this country is ruled by a king. What does yours say, Krista? Events. Events. I can tell you that the Nobel Peace Prize is judged in this country. How about you, Miguel? Capital. The capital of this country is Oslo. Okay, Alina, you were the first one to finish the assignment. You get the first crack at this. Is it Switzerland, Finland, or Norway? Norway. Norway is right. Nice job, Alina. Ten crime books for you. Way to go, guys. Okay, that signal means Acme Bogdan has something for us. Let's check the phone tap. Grunger, peel out for a Brazilian state in the Amazon River Basin and be on the lookout for a hairy, six-foot-tall creature. Uh, you mean my sister? <coughs> no, I mean a giant sloth, an animal thought to be extinct for several thousand years, but locals insist they've seen it many times, even recently. Are uh, you sure this ain't my sister? <coughs> Only if she has reddish fur, rips apart palm trees, and weighs 400 pounds. Uh, I guess it couldn't be her. She hasn't been that thin in years. <laughs> mm, okay, guys, name the uh, place where Top Grunge has taken the Rock Palace. Is it Suriname, Bahia, or Accra? And the clues that we heard, Brazilian state, Amazon River Basin, and giant sloth seen by locals. Everybody's ready. Crystal, what do you think? I said Bahia. Bahia. What do you think, Miguel? I said Bahia. Bahia. Alina? I said Accra. Uh, Accra. The answer we're looking for is... Akra, nice job, Alina. <laughs> Quick recap of scores here. Chris is at 50, Miguel 70, Alina 85 at me, Crime Bucks, and we just received word that Top Grunge has left Akra, so let's pick up the chase. Ooh, oh, chase. Thank you, thank you. There you go. All these were five at me, Crime Bucks, you guys. Hands on your buzzers. Uh, watch the monitor, listen carefully. Here we go. Top Grunge took cover in the country. Uh, Miguel Panama is right. Grunge groped his way to Bogota. What mountains did he, uh, Miguel? Andes. Yes. Next, he veered into Venezuela's capital. Name it. Caracas. Uh, Alina. Caracas. Uh, is right. Then he parked the palace in the capital. Uh, Alina. Guyana. Yes. Top Grunge flew a glider to uh, Alina. Peru. Sorry, it's Suriname. Okay, that means at the end of that round, uh, Krista has 50, Miguel 80, Alina 95. Acme Crime Bucks. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys know this is not uh, National Geographic World. Were you aware that all of those, uh, all of our answers are verified by the people down there? National Geographic World. Well, they are. Uh, now here's our final uh, clue for this round, guys. So remember that you have to uh, decide how much you want to risk. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. So take a look right over here, if you will, please, because here is a portion of the world where we think Top Grunge is headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. All right, looks like everybody's ready for the final clue of this round, then. Let's go to the oh, person. Greg! Greg! Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That sounds like Edwina, the new little girl that just moved in down the street. Let me let me go see what she wants. Hold on. Hi, Edwina. How are you doing? Hi, Greg. <laughs> oh, uh, look what I brought you here. Oh, hey, it's a flower pot. No! <laughs> it's a clue. See, uh, it has to do with that smelly guy, Top Grunge. He's in a country north of Morocco. Ah, uh, so that must mean he's in the country where they invented the guitar. <clears throat> well, well, sorta. See, even folks like ancient Egyptians were playing instruments that were kind of like guitars, but the modern-day guitar mm. was developed over centuries in the same country where Top Grunge is hiding, and, you know, it's also the place where modern methods of guitar playing started. Edwina, that is so cool. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really. It'll sound better when I, when I get the flowers over here. Right. Yeah. Uh... I, I gotta go, because I'm late for that call from the White House. Okay. Bye! Bye! Yes, the White House. They're having dinner, then maybe bowling. Okay, comes who's name the country. Is it... Spain, Albania, or Libya? Remember the clues that we heard north of Morocco and where modern-day guitar was developed? 
Okay, once you have your answers, uh, yeah, it's all right. Lay it right down there. It looks like everybody's ready. Uh, Chris, we're going to start with you. You have 50 at me crime bucks. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 50 crime bucks. Oh, yeah, I went for it. 50 crime bucks. What would you say, bud? <laughs> I said Libya. It's not Libya. I'm sorry. You're going to go down 50 crime bucks, but you went for it in the end, buddy. I'm proud of you. Miguel, you have 80 at me crime bucks. How much did you risk? I was... uh, 30 crime bucks. Okay, what would you say, Miguel? I said Spain. Spain is right. Nice job, Miguel. Thanks to the 110. Alina, you have 95 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 20. 20 crime bucks. What did you say, Alina? I said Spain. Spain is right. Alina, Miguel, going on to the next round. Krista, you took it there in the end, bud. Good job, man. Listen, we got some great stuff for you. Chief. Tracking top grunge is a dirty job, and you did your very best. As a reward for your accomplishments, you'll head out into the field with the best in Acme gumshoe gear. I'm including an atlas, this cool crime net cap with the Acme logo in front, the official Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World magazine, and for all your undercover sleuthing, the new Acme Stealth Pen Quarter. Just push the button here, speak into the pen, and record important top secret information. Wow, Chief, this Acme Stealth Pen Quarter is really cool. What? How did he get my pen? How did. Greg? Okay, thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, top range is in Spain. We gotta get this as fast as we can, so we're gonna modem ourselves there. We take a deep breath, we hold it for Greg? as long as. Yeah. Are you and the gumshoes ready to modem? We're ready, Chief. Let's do it. Ah, oh, almost lost it. I started laughing. Okay, here we are. Take a walk right here. Here we go. This is our place. Okay, Gumshoes, you know where to go. I'm right here. Chief will be up here with some very important information in just a minute or two. So listen very carefully. Chief, what do you have for us? There are 15 places here in Spain where you might find Top Grunge, The Warrant, or The Rock Palace. Let's look at a few of them. First, Estadi Olympique, Barcelona's Olympic Stadium. Finished in 1929, it didn't host the Games until 1992 after being remodeled. Watch for Grunge holding his own Olympic event, the snot put. Then, the Palacio Real, or Royal Palace. Hundreds of rooms, including one covered entirely with porcelain. Perfect for top grunge, since porcelain wipes clean so easily. Be sure to rummage through Ronda, one of Spain's ancient towns. Perched high in the mountains, it was once a stronghold for Arabs and Romans. Top grunge may say, help me Ronda, and stash the stolen loot here. And last, bull upholstering. This interior decorator is redoing this bull in a nice red chintz. That old brown fur was so, oh, 80s. <laughs> Top grunge is still free, gumshoes. That spit-spewing specimen must be stopped. Speed to Spain, stymie the slimy, and save the stolen stuff. Will do it, Chief. Thanks a lot. Okay, Gumshoes, you know how this works. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Alina, you had the most at the end of the last round. You go first. Madrid's ro Royal Palace. Madrid's Royal Palace. Whoa, whoa. Nothing there. We turn it back around. Miguel, your turn. Ebro River. Ebro River. <coughs> Nothing there. We turn it back around. Alina. House of the Shells. House of Shells. Whoa, whoa. Nothing there. We turn it around. Miguel. Guadish Caves. Ah, yes. Guadish Caves. People live in these caves as houses. Let's see it. Guadish Caves. No, no, no. Like up there, we turn it back around. It's very good, Shawnee. Uh, Alina, go ahead. Barcelona Zoo. Uh, Barcelona Zoo. <laughs> yeah. Love the zoo one. Nothing there. We turn it back around. Miguel, your turn. Picasso Museum. Picasso Museum. Ooh, ooh, wow. oh, <laughs> we turn it back around. Nothing there. Oh, it's a live show we're doing here. Alina, go ahead. Royal Tapestry Factory. Uh, Royal Tapestry Factory. <laughs> Nothing there. We turn it back around. Miguel. House of Smells. House of Shells. It probably does smell. Cool, but no. Okay. We turn it back. It probably smells as well. We turn it back around. Alina, your turn. Olympic Stadium. Olympic Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing there. We turn it back around. Miguel, your turn. San Sebastian Jazz Festival. San Sebastian Jazz Festival. Dooby-doo, but no. <laughs> Nothing there. We turn it back around. Alina, your turn. Do we do? Running of the bulls. Running of the bulls. The, the warrant. warrant. Nice job. You got the warrant. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Go ahead, Alina. House of shells. House of shells. Cool, but still no. And it smells. Okay, we turn both uh, them back around. Miguel, your turn. Balearic Islands. Balearic Islands. 
Nothing there. We turn it back around. Alina, your turn. Valley of the Fallen. Valley of the Fallen. No, nothing there. We turn it back around. Miguel, your turn. Park Guel. Park Guel. Nothing there. We turn it back around. Alina, your turn. The Alhambra. The Alhambra, a famous ancient palace fortress in Grenada. Let's see it. The Alhambra. Top Grunge. All right, you found Top Grunge. You got to go in the right order, though. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Be careful, Alina. Olympic Stadium. Olympic Stadium. <laughs> nice strategy. We turn both of them back around. Miguel, go ahead. Prado Museum. Uh, Prado Museum. Wrangled residents. You, sir, have the loot and a free turn. Go ahead. Running of the Bulls. Running of the Bulls. The warrant. The loot and the warrant. Can you find Top Grunge? The Alhambra. Is, he's, Alhambra. is Top Grunge still at the Alhambra? Yeah! yeah. yeah. You won! You know what to do. Put on that chain. Put him in jail. Go ahead, buddy. Great job, Miguel. Talk to you just a little bit, but first off, fantastic detective work. You almost got this whole thing. Chief, what do you have for her? There's no denying the important help you gave us today. Without your hard work, that crook might still be free. In honor of your achievements, you'll receive this terrific Acme gumshoe gear. Plus, two of these amazing Acme secret senders. Then you and a friend can secretly communicate through the air. Just type in your message, press this button, and zap! It appears on the other secret sender. It's also a pocket organizer and a control for your TV and VCR. From all of us at Acme, congratulations. Thanks a lot, Chief. All right, buddy, here is your portfolio. Inside a piece of paper and a pen, what I want you to do is write down where you'd like to go. If you catch Carmen San Diego and get that trip, Rockapella, gentlemen, start the music, please. <laughs> Friend. Very nice choice. Now all we need is that phone call. Always happens right on cue. I don't know how it happens. Hello? Yeah, he's right here. <laughs> Prison life is so disgusting. I can't believe I have to live in a place this clean. <laughs> Carmen's hiding in Africa. <laughs> Go tell her to spring me. <laughs> okay, we know where she is. Let's find out more about it. Chief? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Morocco, Senegal, Burkina Faso, Ghana, Chad, Nile River, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Kenya, Zaire, Angola, Zimbabwe, South Africa. Greg, let's go to the map. I feel good. <laughs> All right, I have no doubt in my mind that you know exactly what you have to do. But for those who may not know, let me explain this real quickly. What you're going to have to do is identify eight locations in 45 seconds. When you are right, you will hear this sound. <laughs> ah, yes, but if you're wrong, you're going to hear this sound. If you're wrong two times in a row, don't worry about it. Leave the mark where it is. We'll continue from there. But if you're right, eight times in 45 seconds, you're going to get that trip. Also, a quick thing to remember, if you ever see one of these... Hmm? Eh, 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 eh. It stands for body of water. So if you're looking for a body of water, look for the arrow, not for the dot. Miguel, are you ready, my friend? Yes. You're ready? Mm -hmm. Miguel's one of those strong, silent types. She likes to get right into it, do the thing. Is that correct, sir? Yes. You guys ready to do this? Yes! Come on, Miguel, let's do this thing. Do it your own way. Make a lot of noise, audience. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck, Miguel. Here we go. On your mark, get set. Go, Carmen from the Addis, Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Try it again, try it again. Yes, yes, Burkina Faso, Burkina Faso, Wagadougou, Burkina Faso. Try it again, try it again. Come on back, come on back. Chad, it's Jemena, Chad, Chad. Yes, let's go. Ghana, 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 Accra, Ghana. Try it again, Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. Let's go, let's go, let's go. South Africa, South Africa, you know this one. Let's go, come on, buddy, you got it. This guy is fast. Yeah, let's go. Zaire, Zaire. Tawanga, Zaire, Zaire. Let's go, let's go. Nice move, Morocco. Tante, Morocco, Morocco. You got it, let's go. Senegal, Senegal, Dakar, Senegal. Yeah. Try it again, try it again, try it again. Okay, go. Oh, how many do we get? Five and 45 seconds, but you are fast, my friend. Big give it up for Miguel, ladies and gentlemen. Miguel. 
Miguel is going so fast, the markers are falling over. Excellent job, man. You doing all right? Yeah. You did a great job, man. We got some great stuff for you. Chief, what do you have? Darn that Carmen. She can be really tough to catch. But we're all very proud of the skill you showed today, and we've got just the gift for a gumshoe on the go. This Acme Pocket Color Television with an active matrix screen. Just think, the next time you're stuck on an all-night stakeout, you won't have to miss your favorite shows. You made it. You're a sleuth. Congratulations. Miguel, my buddy, you were so fast, man. Excellent job. Still catching her breath. She's been doing some great stuff here, man. There's one more thing, though, I want you to do. You know what it is? You are right, well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filter from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride on a slow bus to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their soul in South Korea. We're going to cut right off the from the Red Sea to Greenland. They'll be singing the blues. Well, they never Arkansas her steal the me. And remember, our minds are sharp, our spirits perky. We flatten crooks like beef jerky. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. And as always,